Hey, Barry. Can you hear me, Barry? Cool. Yeah, I'm just fucking around. Uh, I'm gonna put out the call in a second. Yeah, definitely really like spikes. Uh, you guys gotta be asked to be unmuted if you want to be unmuted, I guess. Hey guys.
Hello. Hi. Did How's... you unmute me? I did, yeah. Oh. Um. I was like, yes, there's... I don't know. What's that? Uh, I'm not joined in your stream. Sorry. Give me a sec. No, it's okay. Very surprised you unmuted me. I don't know. Why not? Okay. <laughs> How have you been? <laughs> um, I'm doing alright. I just... This song sucks. This song also sucks. Um... Yeah, I don't um, know. Yeah, just, uh... Trying out some new streaming shit. Oh, cool. The drawing looks great so far. Thank you. Yeah. Gotta figure out how to resolve the tail because it's it's a little eh looking. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Feels a little off. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm not an expert though. I just kind of casually draw. It's okay. Is this uh, another realistic Pokemon? This one is not. No, this is just like, just for fun. Then maybe you could take the weird bump that goes up on the tail, maybe make it bigger, follow its back. Maybe. I was thinking more of it, sort of like a like a plain tail rudder. Mmm. Okay. Because that's why it's got like the one down the center and then it's got the one on each side sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe it's the line below it. Below, like... You, ha you have the bump and then the two plane and then you have one below that makes Even though it's supposed to be, like, the tail. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense, it just doesn't look entirely right, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get that. Okay. So what kind of music you have on? I, I usually keep streams muted. Uh, I guess it's just some of the soundtrack to that, um, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Okay. Which I never actually played, but it's got a good score. Did you ever watch that, uh, anime Attack on Titan? Uh, I got bored of it. Yeah, so did I. It's horrible. But the music's good, and it's the same composer who <laughs> did this game. Uh, okay. It, it's, it's a bit of a slow anime. Uh, I don't tend to listen to music for games and such. Then again, I'm the weird one on that, because I like play video game people, the music muted, and then... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had told some of my friends who were in a game who make ga who made games and community that I'd do that and they're super sad, like, how could you do that? That's half the game. Like, um oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of video mm -hmm. game soundtracks. Mm -hmm, okay. I usually play just, I guess, popular games. Nothing too interesting about that. Except for, like, Paladins is what I'm currently into. What the hell is that? Uh, uh is that, it's that Overwatch thing, the knockoff thing, right? Uh, people call it knockoff, yeah. I thoroughly enjoy it. But, like, it's, um, it's fun to me. And it's free, so, you know, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't really compl play uh, competitive games or anything anymore. Like, I don't have fucking time. It's, it's like my uh, job, I gotta, like, go to work and draw for ten hours a day, five days a week. And then by the time I get home, I'll usually just draw more or um, watch TV. Makes sense. <sighs> hey, Barry. Huh? Oh, I can talk? Yeah, I unmuted you. Oh, uh, 
Good, you? You're pretty quiet, Barry. You want to speak up? Uh, Maybe you can usually... I mean, I can I can raise your audio myself, but I don't know oh, if it... I'll switch microphones real quick. Okay, I'm going to put them back down to 100. All right, I don't want him coming in, and I 200%, and it blasts my ears. Yeah. Hey, Crick, I'm drawing a weird monster dragon. It's, um, it's a mix of a whole bunch of things. It's cute. I'll show you what's cute. These guys. Wait till the stream catches up, you'll see. Okay, I'm just... Oh, they are so cute! Alright, is that better? Yeah, that's better. Alright. Much better. Oh, they are so cute! Oh no, I can hear myself! Oh yeah, if you, uh, if you listen to the stream, you'll hear yourself. Yeah, you guys, if you're talking in stream chat, you'll be on, on the stream. Oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, so I can... Hear my own voice. That's, yeah, I that's mean, right. use this opportunity to like, you know, dish out your communist manifesto if you want. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, I'm being respectful. I don't want to do that. Uh, I do not exist. Um, this four-legged creature is like, it's like some weird. It's got like, a, a, it's got like a cat body with like some boar and elephant face. It's actually this. Um, thing that goes underneath that you'll see me drawing the line that's um a, that's a trunk mm. and so it keeps a yeah. trunk underneath it oh i see and it eats peanut dragons also <laughs> its fur is supposed to look like fish fins for some reason huh. yeah i was gonna say it made me think of a fish where do you come up with these designs i don't know i'm dicking around you just you just start getting a pencil and start going Pretty much. Here's another one. This one I actually had a dream about. I had a dream that like there were monitor lizards uh, that once they got old enough would turn into dragons and they would just like grow some like wing fingers on their arm. Oh man, that that looks awesome, dude. And it's got it's got a spiky beard. <laughs> you just love oh, spikes, don't you, dude? Yeah, I'm a very big spike fan. That's why, because this this weird boar cat monster thing. Was originally a lot more spiky, and I saw, huh. and it was like some friends of mine had me take it down a notch because I just put spikes on everything. Mm. The tusks are pretty spiky though. Yeah, but that's okay. They look really good. I could get away with that. <laughs> Hello, Gato Gato. Gato. Oh, is it someone in the chat? Ah, okay. All right. We got um, horse I'm freak. drawing too. Horse freak. <laughs> horse horse freak one fifty one. I unmuted them, but they're they're keeping themselves mute, so I don't know what's up with them. That's a good name though, horse freak. What's my favorite creature design slash concept artist? Uh, I mean, I don't know. There's there's a lot that I like. I, I mean, basically, my my go to answer is just like. I don't know their name, but whoever does all the Monster Hunter creature designs, like, that guy is fucking crazy cool. I just want to be him when I grow up. Mm. Wait. Wait, aren't you a grown man, RJ? That's what I was to say. <laughs> I still got some growing to do. I'm only 27. Oh, yeah, you're only 27. <laughs> um, I, I really like Carlos Wante's stuff. I had the pleasure of getting to work with him. Um, for about a month. Cool. That was really cool. I don't know him, but that's cool. Um, Crick, I, I'm i gonna get back to the Pokemon stuff after the project I'm on that I can't talk about. I'm, uh... But, like, you could probably put it together based on where I live. Doesn't stalk you. Yeah. So I don't have a clue. <laughs> Wayne Barlow's super good, but he's never been, like, one of my art favorite artists. I really liked his dinosaur stuff he did in the 90s. That was pretty cool. Uh, 
I made it look too mature in his face. Not this not cute. How? I can't make headless things, right? <laughs> no, you can. Well, headless. not if I'm basing it off of someone. I mean, you could. Well, you could uh, do a fucking thing where like the head is actually like in the chest, so it doesn't have like a noticeable head. I think that would erase the cuteness I'm trying to go for. Oh, well then yeah, probably. If you're trying to make it cute, <laughs> then don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to enter a jump to a dog contest. So, uh, what new animals uh, inspired... Uh, horse, hang on, Horse Freak is asking me what animals inspired this thing. Um, <clears throat> like, horses, warthogs, hippos... Um, pterosaurs, chickens, and grebes, mostly. Hmm. Yeah, Terra Wood Lunch is really cool. Terra Wood Lunch is fucking really good at drawing animals, but I don't really like her creature design. Anyways, go on, Barry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. It's my fault. Sorry. Um, I really like the, the, the mouth, especially on this dragon. Like, the tusks mm -hmm. and the teeth. What are they based off of? I'm guessing warthogs. Warthog and hippo and horse. Mm. Like, uh, the mouth is... The bottom jaw is almost just, like, ripped off of a hippo. Just more teeth packed in there. Yeah, I see that. Especially the, the upper teeth, I see where the horse is from. Yeah. I can see. Yeah, that's definitely... I'm trying to, like... It's like the, the wings would sort of look like... You'll see when the stream catches up what I'm drawing. Hmm. Wait. I don't know. The lag is very much real the stream. Yeah. Laggy. I mean, it's just it, slower. Yeah, it's just like 20 yeah. or 30 seconds behind or whatever. Yeah, that's no problem. It's pretty standard. Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah, that oh. looks really cool. Hello, Lazy Hydra. I unmuted you. You just have to ask. Hello. Yeah, Greg Broadway Hi. is really cool. Uh, Nicholas Pascal. How are you tonight? I'm doing all right. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing with this uh, critter's wings. Looks similar to like flatworms, to be honest. <laughs> like the folds of flatworms. Hmm. I was going more for like greed feet. You ever see those things? They're super cool. Oh yeah. Or um, what are those called? Um, I'm trying to remember the name of them. But they're a bird with like the weird feet. Yeah, greebs. Yeah. Oh, I'm stupid, sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's a G-R-E-B. -E. So, <clears throat> more or less uh, multi-layered way. Uh, Horse Freak, I did unmute you. Uh, Hunter in the chat. All the... I mean, all the creatures I've taken inspiration from just for this guy. Um, it's like... Uh, there's a lot. It's basic, It's just like super self-indulgent of a bunch of traits I like. <laughs> um, I mean the feet are just like chicken and dromaeosaur, and you got this book, the uh, the unfeathered bird. It's got like a bunch of. Oh, like, that's so cool. Yeah, I've never cool. seen that book. It's pretty neat. It's got like I a like whole bunch of illustrations of like birds without feathers. <laughs> Um, texture inspiration for the belly. Yeah, that's that's uh, basically in that book. They have a whole bunch of illustrations of, of like feathers clipped off at the base, and they look like these little nibs that are like poking out everywhere. And that's why I like turned them into like little spikes. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 some um, it's a texture that's really interesting. Most people get weirded out by it, but I think it's cool. It's like almost the beard of a bearded dragon. It's like that. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what's also a really interesting texture? Hmm. A dog that has its babies come out of its back. Which does? 
Um, I'll look up the frog. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, but those, those, the texture left after, well, actually the whole texture during the whole um, gestation process is a really interesting transformation. <laughs> but I think it's something that's like, if, if you're not easily weirded out, it's really useful. Hmm. Pancake Toad, I guess. Um, Nicholas Pascal, I have done Dragons with Fur, probably. I don't know. I'm not that big into, like, hairy dragons. Like, when I did that Chinese dragon for the Scholastic book, I made all of its fur into spikes. Yeah, well, I mean, I think you have to balance furry dragons a bit. I just... Like, you don't I, want them to look... I just like really, like, scales and spikes so much. Do you want to know my least favorite furry dragon? Um... They're Falcor? Story. Yeah, Falcor. Ugh. It looks like somebody really liked their wired-haired um, miniature dachshund and made him into a dragon. <laughs> but they just, like, stretched him out a little bit. <laughs> it's really creepy. It just... That's bad character design in my mind. <clears throat> I had uh, uh, some uh, uh, ideas for a slightly furry dragon. Yes, uh, polar-based... Uh, uh... One where basically the fur is uh, around the ankles and you know joints of the legs, and on the belly and the undertail, basically to keep the bottom of the body warm. Mm. Oh, like sort of like uh, the clips they put on Irish setters. Yeah, uh, I know what you're talking about. Well, yeah. uh, uh, I, I haven't uh, drawn the, the actual dragon, but I drawn a character that is pretty much merged with that type of dragon. But I'm gonna have to design uh, the actual beast one day. But if you want, I can link you. Interesting is like if you have to either, in my mind, when you design dragons, you gotta either pick yeah an insect scale, or you have to pick the canine lion. And various other large furry animals. You Otherwise, it's um, a design I never see on dragons. What's that? It's that like no, a lot of people don't base dragons on like bugs and stuff. I that is got true. that. I've got a few of that. I don't you see that see... very often. You see my um. I've seen yours, RJ. It looks lit. <laughs> yeah. The uh, what's it called? The, the spider list. Yeah, but... That one I did last year. Yeah. That one's awesome. Yeah. Thank so you. this one, oh. uh, 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 this one's the girl best in that of how I wanted to have the first final when I will design the actual beast. My chat channel. Do you know what's amazing? Bug mouths. Yeah. Yeah. Those are... I can make yeah. nipples. You say nipples? <laughs> no, mandibles. Mouths. Oh, okay. Unless you want man, uh, man nipples, but... Ooh, interesting. <laughs> you have I to get that... around to design the actual uh, lizard someday. You get your idea. I'm a harp peg person, but I also draw a lot of D&D &D fan art. Well, for my D&D &D campaigns, I'm a GM. Mm -hmm. and... Dragon's just so relaxing. Speaking of which, in the campaign I'm currently playing, we might have to to uh, attack a green dragon soon. <laughs> I have a quick okay. question, RJ. Yes. Um, what type of sort of dragon artists or like artists who created animals inspired you? Because um... I've always wondered, because you have such amazing sort of character creation skills, but I'd like to know like what mediums you chose, or like books or stories or anything that you sort of got you into drawing this sort of type of uh, I mean, crazy cool dragon. Mostly like Monster Hunter and Final Fantasy. Like it's Final Fantasy, of course. Yeah. Um, like Monster Hunter is definitely the big the big one. Uh, yeah, Monster Hunter is like so fucking cool. They have so many good things. Yeah, Monster Hunter is pretty good in its design in general. Oh, but, but I might tell you want to get uh, pretty weirded out when I found out that 
retardos in region actually have actual ears. Like I, I didn't notice them for for years until one day oh. I had an actual no, zoom I... in uh, under the face, and then suddenly, wait, they have ears? <laughs> no, man, the ears are awesome. They're like the best part. You no, know, it's just that I like literally never noticed them under the, until that point. I just thought they were spikes, so I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Nicholas, this one is technically a wyvern, but like, I think that distinction is, people make much too big of a, a deal about that. It's realistically like, they're all dragons. That crashed. Well, <clears throat> apparently uh, in the Japanese version of Monster Hunter, they're not even uh, uh, referred to as wyvern. Like, they use an a specific... Well, in my Monster Hunter, like uh, Retalos, etc., uh, uh, the, uh, in uh, the American version, uh, well, Western version, they call them wyvern. But uh, in the Japanese, they use a different word than the one they use for wyvern, but I can't remember what it is. Big, scaly flying man. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> also, everyone, it's Henry. It's me. Henry, well, hello, Henry. Henry. He works I'm on Sword. RJ's. I'm RJ's chief writer. He gets most of his material from me. Otherwise known as my punching bag. Mm, <laughs> slash the funny one on the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to do a podcast. Is everybody excited? Oh, oh yeah. What's this going to be called? Um, Jake Town. Yeah, it's going to be called Jake Town because we know this guy named Jake. But he doesn't really talk to us much. So we're just going to talk about him behind his back. Yeah. That's kind of hilarious. Yeah. We also don't know what Jake Town means, so like we're open to suggestions. Yeah. What type of podcast do you guys like to listen to? Um, like really mean spirited to... ones where they dox people. <laughs> oh no! I only listen to political podcasts. I've just started listening to podcasts for the first time, like a few months ago. I listen to like guys, mostly video you, game and comedy like... podcasts. Maybe an odd question, but do you guys find um, gruesome murder interesting? <laughs> uh, are you talking about S Town? Don't. I, I just finished S Town on a six-hour car ride. But I love, uh, love S Town. I was actually referring to my favorite murder. It's two comedians talking about horrible, gruesome murders, just like saying random things about like, don't go into the woods. If you go into the woods, bring a dog. Make it a Rottweiler. Uh, hmm. Bring a knife. Tape knives to your Rottweilers. That does sound like, like our podcast. Like that. <laughs> That's exactly what we talk about, is murders. Oh well, no, what we talk about it's is really we, we just argue. We <laughs> argue about things that are stupid. <laughs> like what? Um, um, what's something that we, we argue... Like Rogue One. We have stupid arguments about Rogue One. That's a, that's yeah. a good example. Yeah, because Rogue One is sucks. It does, but also it doesn't. Henry agrees with all of my criticisms of Rogue One, but like... Yeah, but also you seem to be unable okay, to grasp the idea so that you can be you can critical of a movie and still like it. Alright, I'll move. Uh, I'm back home from college, so everybody's everywhere. Yay. I'm also... I agree that in my even room. if you like something... I'm, I'm audio tagged with artists. Yeah, I'm an artist. Stay critical. <laughs> Henry There's does really good music, guys. actually. Wait, so Archie, does that mean you're admitting that music is... No, it's not... Music is not art, but, like... It's closer to being art than, like, a writer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Archie. That really means a lot coming from you. I'm glad to see that you've shifted your perspective on this. Um, SASC, yeah. <laughs> which is a art school where they think that uh, art is mostly performance art, oh. at least in the core classes. So I've seen a lot of naked people. Just yeah, leave. well, per Just performance art is the purest of arts. There is no purer art than covering yourself in ketchup and masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, god. That's a real one, though. That, that's that's really? a that's a real perform. That's a real yeah. famous performance artist who. Yeah. I don't. Was, Wait, are I, you sure you're not talking about the the one with like the the rotten spaghettios can that the chick just rubs all over her parts? 
Oh, no, no, I'm talking about a different one. This one, this guy was wearing the. That's called a yeast infection. The one that I'm talking about, he was one of the first people to like give a really bad name to performance art as a genre or as a medium of art. Because like his the goal of his performance, it was like I think during the '60s, the goal of his performance art was to get everyone to leave the leave the theater. So he just went out on stage naked and like covered himself with ketchup and mustard and started masturbating and shitting all over the place. And he managed to make everyone leave. So he was successful in his art. Sounds like Saturday night, am I right, fellas? The aristocrat. Pratt's joke, but in real life. Yeah, well, so that's, but you I've know. Had the experience has been... Yesterday we had a girl simulate birth by ripping herself out of a nylon sock. She had covered in fake blood and eggs. Did she have clothes on? And oh, she was okay, naked. yeah, so that's performance art for sure. <laughs> and I, I, the worst part was is that my teachers, like, don't even and really think about anything past the idea that, oh my god, she's being out there and doing performance art, and I'm sitting there like... Um, well, here... By anybody who's a human the being. only good performance artist, as far as I'm concerned, is Steven. When he was back when he was doing his, uh... his bit, where he... <laughs> he... what, he did his fucking... he did his super pack and he ran for president? Like, that was... Political oh, performance art. I, feel I like thought you were talking about better. Stephen Hawking for a minute there, and how like his wheelchair is all performance art. Famous, famous performance <laughs> artist Stephen Hawking. <laughs> That's Stephen Hawking. You know him, and it's black holes and performance art. Those are his things. Yeah, like he's, he's well, the, the perfectly black holes fine. Are part of his performance art. He, You'd actually be surprised to find out the math behind the black holes that he discovered. It's actually all performance art too. It doesn't <laughs> hold up to mathematical scrutiny. It's just performance art. Fun fact. Yeah, no, it's actually everything's performance art. You just don't know it. Yeah, true. You have to this right now, class. this is performance art because all social interaction is performative. Therefore, this is performance art. We're all just that's, in a giant performance art piece. That's Henry. in every single class that is a required course at my school. And you're ruining wow. my life. Right it's now. the worst. <laughs> Am I'm, I I'm, your, I'm an illustrator. I'm an illustrator. Henry, we can't. Look at like great school. RJ, I just made your stream like 37% better, so don't fucking sass me about this shit. What is that, a fucking My Little Pony reference? <laughs> is 37% is, is That's something. My they Pony they, they used to say something, it was like a percentage. No, it's like 20%. 20% cooler. Haha, <laughs> I just tricked you guys into admitting you're Pony fans. You're gross. <laughs> you didn't trick me, I, I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> I feel no shame. So, actually, the animation is really fun to watch. I'm an animator too. I love to animate. Wait, so it was you... a fun thing to watch. And also, it, character development, it, pretty decent. The animation just looks like fucking like good Twins. Flash animation from Newgrounds. Yeah, no, that's yeah, honestly what it that's is. What and it I is. animate on Flash. I didn't I mean, know yeah, Flash was with Flash. That's I have an appreciation thing. for good Flash animation, but I was. I, I, I watched one episode of that show and I just didn't get it because I didn't think the animation was interesting enough and the writing wasn't very interesting and it was just... It, and also it, ADD, it just, so it helps that it was brightly colored. Well, also, Henry didn't have any girls well, just, he was dude, interested just watch in. Adventure Time, because like, Adventure Time is well animated and well written. It's also bright colors and yeah. garish shit, you know? Adventure Time is not well written. What are you talking about? It's pretty well written. It's not like it's not like amazingly written. Well, like, I'll, you, I, I, I'll I sit down and poke well flaws in it, but I think it's pretty well written. Fun, but pretty much every single episode I've uh, tried to watch was just fart jokes and poop jokes. And was like, is this what everyone says is supposed to be great? It's got a lot of it's got a lot of dark humor too. Like there's the one episode where like you spend the whole they spend the whole episode going on this adventure with this character and then she just dies. <laughs> and that's how the episode ends with Finn and Jake like with an expression of shocked horror on their face. Yep. <laughs> like it's got some good dark humor in that show too. Do Maybe you guys know it just didn't get the Cox good and ones. Krender in the morning. What was that? What's that? Cox and Krender, do you know that podcast? Nope. No. They have the most. If you YouTube them, Cox, Cox, literally the N. Oh, I don't do video uh, podcasts. I'm gonna pass it for you and then Krender. They have the most amazing animations for their podcast because they ended up actually hiring the person who was doing the animations for fun to just animate their podcast, and it's this beautiful flash animation. Felix Cole. So it's like really strong. Yeah, well, a lot of people go around, oh, if, if it's done with Flash, uh, it's not real animation, but Flash is I, just an animation program like everything else. It's you complete can, BS. You can, you can do uh, frame by frame in Flash. Yeah, I know, but uh, That's some people, I used to do when some I was people Flash. just uh, say that because <laughs> you're not drawing everything yourself, it's not animation. That's stupid. Uh. 
See, it really bugs friend. me when people are like, I've actually, I TA'd for a class um, where I pretty much ended up running it because the teacher was absent for a while. Was we had a sub. Tell us digital art students that we couldn't do art on the computer because that's cheating. Huh. He never was uh, allowed that, to sub for that class again. That, uh, that reminds me of something uh, uh, about, uh, it's been a while, like uh, nearly 12 years ago, uh, it was an, uh, an artist forum that I had joined to, you know, try to practice, learn from others and stuff like that. And there was that asshole. <laughs> who, yeah. RJ? You, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know someone who, who uh, uh, well, doesn't draw very well, but because he's married to an artist who does stuff like i think he was married to uh, a mangaka like he like, literally moved to japan to live with her or stuff but and i forget which year 